Now we have already understood that how to test a class or how to test a code which is written, uh, which is written inside a particular class. But what about triggers? Triggers also consists, consists of a lot of functionality into Apex, right? So how do we actually need to test the triggers? So here comes a, sig uh, like a simple example uh, with the help of which we'll understand that how we can test a particular trigger. So over here, let's have a look. Uh, it's a trigger that I have created on the product object. Uh, the API name of the product object is product2. And uh, the name of the trigger is product trigger. And it's a before insert trigger. And inside this, what all what we are doing is we are uh, calling the before insert method of the product trigger helper class. Uh, you all are very much aware about uh, what exactly is a trigger helper class uh, and how to actually use it and what exactly uh, a helper class design pattern is uh, when it comes to Apex triggers. So we are just passing trigger.new over here and let's see what exactly is the functionality uh, which is written down inside trigger helper class, right? Uh, product trigger helper. So over here inside the before insert method, uh, it like gets a list and for all of the records of this particular list, it updates a description as new product added. So irrespective of like whether you're adding a single product or you're adding 10 products at once, uh, the functionality which we have over here is that it should uh, add a new product added into the description of that particular product or into the descriptions description, description fields value. Uh, of that particular product which, is, which, which just got added. So this is the basic functionality that we have for a trigger. Now all what we need to do is uh, we just need to test it. Let's see how we're going to test it. Now to test this particular trigger, this is the code that we have written down. Let's have a look. Uh, I've created a test class. Uh, irrespective of whether you want to test a trigger or a class, you have to create a test class. And uh, the name of the test class that I've given is product trigger test. And inside this uh, class, I have created a test method which will test the before insert method, whether that uh, method is working perfectly or not. So over here, what I've done is I've just created a new product uh, having name new product one, and I'm inserting it into the database. So after inserting it into the database, uh, the like trigger should be, uh, should get executed. So it will go over here. And uh, in this method, this will help, uh, like this will basically call the helper class. Uh, helper classes before insert method and inside the before insert method that particular product will come over here and the dis uh, description fields value of that particular product will get updated to new product added, right? So over here, uh, after inserting it into the database, we need to fetch it back from the database in order to see whether the field got updated or not because if we'll just uh, use this P reference, so in this P reference, uh, nothing got changed but the actual record which got saved into the database uh, has some is something which got changed. So in order to fetch that record back from the database, we need to write down a query and this is the query that I've written down. Select name description created date from product to order by created date dis, uh, like uh, in the descending order limit one. So this query will fetch the latest record which got created into the database inside the product object. So yeah, this is the query that I've written down and it's limit one again. So this will fetch only one record uh, which we have just inserted over here, which is new product one. And uh, after this, I'll write down system.assert equals and uh, new product added. And I'll compare this new product added value with P1's description fields value. So see over here, P and P1 is, are two different uh, S objects as far as uh, this test class is concerned. Uh, because P1 is something that we have fetched from the database and P is something that we have uh, tried to insert into the database. So this is something that a lot of people forget uh, while testing the triggers and they see that like we actually cannot test the triggers and that's why uh, testing triggers is not compulsory or uh, you don't, uh, like the code coverage of uh, triggers should not be like is, uh, should be something like it should be uh, greater than zero. It's, it's not as 75% uh, so for uh, test classes, it's 75% uh, the code coverage, but for triggers, it's not, it's not that much, but it should have at least some coverage. Uh, but yeah, anyways, let's leave that aside. But for now, uh, like in order to compare the value which got up updated into the trigger, or uh, if you want to uh, test uh, any operation that uh, happened into the triggers, you need to fetch that information back from the database and then compare it according to your expected value. 
Okay, so this is how we need to test a particular trigger. I hope you got it. It's pretty easy. Like how a trigger gets executed by inserting, updating, deleting, or undeleting a record from the database or to the database. And uh, that's exactly what you need to write down inside the unit test method. And in order to compare uh, the values or the, in order to compare whether you're getting the right result or not, you need to fetch it back from the database. You need to fetch that record uh, back from the database and see uh, whether it is, like whether the functionality is working as expected or not. And again, in order to execute this test, the process is exactly similar. So we'll just go to the uh, test menu up there and uh, hit new run and after that product trigger test and before insert method, method is the only one. So we'll run it. After running it uh, successfully, we'll, we can see the results and you can see the result is perfect. So yeah. it. Uh, this is how you need to test triggers uh, with the help of unit tests and a test class.